All right, back on the AT, day two. Today's the 23rd, so obviously yesterday was the 22nd. And uh, doing 8.7 miles to the Bass Turnpike. This is not a real safe area. It's been raining all night, and this, I can't tell if it's raining now. It's just drops falling out of the trees. Um, but everything's wet, so you gotta be super careful. Anyway, um, should be able to get these. I'm just slack packing. I only have maybe five pounds on me. Just water and a couple of some food and first aid kit, stuff like that. So looking forward to another day, hopefully some beautiful sights. Okay, two and three quarter miles in. Another typical Appalachian Trail. You can see the blaze up there on that tree. So it's just over these boulders. Of course, with the rain, you just have to be cautious. Run into several people today. So a lot of hikers out, um, three so far through hikers coming from the south. So that's been fun to talk to them. All right, I am 3.9 miles in my 8.7 mile hike. About half a mile, there's a parking lot. I'm gonna take a break, have something to eat, rest for 10 or 15 minutes and on we go. And I was just, just thinking, sorry, I'm looking down a lot too. Uh, the trail's pretty good right here. I was just thinking that, uh, you know, getting on the trail is always, it's a definite change in mindset. And, you know, other than a year ago when I, I tried to start hiking again and was um, getting dizzy and, and stopped, I only got about 30 miles. All my, and I've been on the trail on the AT, itself probably for 40 miles or so of training hikes and well more like 20 not much so all the hiking i've done in the last month has been either on the at or other trails just getting my body ready but not my mindset and it's i, don't, I didn't have any expectations really but you know it's it's a slow in the past it was an instantaneous i stepped foot on the trail after taking a couple of weeks off or you know when i was hiking it and boom i was in it now it's just taking me much more gradual uh readopting my mindset to being out here and maybe it's because i'm just hiking yesterday and today and then i'm going to cape cod for a week so and then i start hiking in earnest uh for the month of august so let's see maybe it'll be different then I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying it's what it is. Loving the day. The rain has stopped. Just very humid, of course. It stopped for about a 10 minute break. This is the Goose Pond Road, I believe. But it's a, I came out here last year looking for the AT. And uh, I just came from that side. I'm heading in this way. There's a parking lot, as you can see, just to the right. For trailhead parking. So 4.5 miles to go. And I'll be picked up by Gil. So there are two two hours and 15 minutes. I just came from that way. I like to get interesting aspects of the trail. You know, things that you're not gonna do or experience unless you hike the trail. I guess you can find some side trails, but this looks pretty cool. I'm getting ready to be at Goose Pond, big old pond, well known around here. I'm not there yet, but I'm guessing it's in front of me. Who knows? Anyway. I think that's a pretty cool bridge slash walkway. Oh, I only get to start back uphill. More awesome trail. I think it picks up shortly after that white blaze. Just came from that way and I am now following up the North shore of Goose Pond, big pond. It goes on a long ways and hopefully I'll have a full view here. There's an actual hiker cabin up here. Only, only camping allowed in this part of the AT is at this cabin. So it's cut down on hiking or uh, camping in the, in the woods. But it's a half mile off the trail, so I'm not gonna go check it out, but it's right on the banks of the lake. And I'll get exit to it here some, somewhere soon. Ah, it's too bad to allow camping around here. 
be a beautiful sight. There's some great fishing in there. Looks like some raindrops happening there on the lake. I don't know if you'll ever hear them. Anyway, this came from that way. Beautiful, quiet. Well, I love the sound of silence when I'm hiking. I've talked about it many times. It's just, it's just something to really enjoy and has a really impact. It's very spiritual to have that just continuously silent. Just birds and animals, occasional plane flying over. But sometimes I prefer not to hear the sounds of civilization, but others say welcome kind of break. So I assume you can hear the noises in the background that's coming from the mass turnpike about half a mile away. And uh, I don't know if I'll be going under it or over it, but I'll be there in five, ten minutes. All right, well, clearly I'm at the uh, Mass Turnpike. I never noticed that sign, Appalachian Trail, above the turnpike. But now I'll know to look for it. And it's just a little walkway, footbridge, or I guess three wheelers could go over this. Okay, I'm going over the I guess, southbound or eastbound lane first. Pretty views. Ah, uh, well, about uh, four tenths of a mile from the parking lot I'm going to. Hey, Gail. Ah, uh, walk down this and walk over another bridge on the other side. All right, very nice, kind of. There's the turnpike, and uh, right off of it, here's a beautiful little pond with some looks like nice houses on it, and a uh, stuffed dog, or a coyote, or a bobcat up there. Oh, lots of goose poop on the ground. I don't watch where I'm stepping. Not sure where the trail is, but it's down here somewhere. Well, I found it. Yeah. Another three tenths of a mile. The parking lot. There's Gail to pick me up. Mass turnpike. You just see maybe some cars flash by, but that's the hills I went and over and came down just a minute ago. It's a confusing exit to the turnpike to get stay on the trail, but I figured it out.